It is a mural of the Last Supper. It has quite a story behind it, and a group of local supporters is rallying to restore it. You've probably never seen this mural before because it's inside Folsom Prison. It's painted by an inmate decades ago. And it's slowly deteriorating, and restoring it won't come cheap. CBS 13's Tony Lopez explaining why supporters say this is worth it. You know, and it, it does break your heart to go in there and see these sheets of, of paint just coming off the wall because it needs to be, you know, it needs to be saved. What needs saving is this, a rendition of Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. It's been slowly decaying in the Greystone Chapel at Folsom Prison since it was painted way back in 1938 by this guy, Ralph Pecor. Inmate 21692. It's painted on the original concrete wall and it's absorbing water, which is now getting into the paint and peeling it from the wall. Restoring it will come with a price of $100,000 to $200,000 and a lot of careful work. They have to take it off like in one inch squares, piece by piece, and this thing's probably 20 feet wide by 14 feet high. Joel Valencia and the Old Guard Foundation are heading up the restoration effort. But how can they ask donors for help restoring a work of art they can't see? The goal is to move it to the prison museum so the public can enjoy it. So it's basically in prison. You know, so as long as it's in prison, people aren't going to be able to see it. It might be interesting to see, considering rumors of PCOR putting a personal dark touch on the painting. As the story goes, all the disciples were murderers that were incarcerated at Folsom Prison. And the painter, Ralph PCOR, used his face uh, as Jesus Christ. Huh, fascinating. The Old Guard Foundation is still in the planning stage of restoration, so final costs and timelines are still up in the air.